way to continuous lifelong learning. My name is Anshika Gaur. In this video, we will talk about the nano composite. So, without ado, let's get started. An example of a nano composite is a multi phase solid material with one phase having one, two, or three dimensions of less than 100 nanometers or structures with nanoscale repeat intervals between the various phases that make up the material. The concept behind nanocomposite is to use components with dimensions in the nanometer range to design and develop new materials with unheard of flexibility and enhancements to their physical qualities. Now our expert Professor Bohidar, who is associated with National Center for Excellence in Agro Nanotechnology, Terry Daikin Nanotechnology Center, India. He has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research. His area of expertise includes nanoscience and nanotechnology, nanobiointerface science, soft metal science, polymer physics, biophysics. We'll tell you about the nanocomposite. So without a skip, watch till end. A nanocomposite is a multi-component nano system where we have a matrix. The matrix is a continuous matrix. It can be a polymer structure it can be a polymer gel or it can be a melt or some kind of a structure network structure and in that structure we put different nanoparticles there intelligently which have different functionalities as far as trapping the pollutants are concerned or affecting them in a catalytic manner so various types of nanoparticles can be put inside the matrix and we can pre prepare a three dimensional matrix there, very thin, and use it for the filtration purpose. Okay, so this is the basic idea of using a nano composite and turning it into a membrane. Okay, now, as I have been saying for the last two days, our focus is on green chemistry all the time, bio friendly and low energy cost. We need to work on a sustainable model always. So for today's discussion, we will be talking about a nano composite that is made of three materials which are biofriendly, non-toxic. One is nanocellulose. Second one is hydroxyapatite nanoparticle. And third one is nano zeolite. These three combinations provide wonderful give wonderful properties to the membrane and it solves most of the issues related to the wastewater and all these are biofriendly and they are certified as green material so there is no issue of toxicity here first nano cellulose cellulose you know is one of the most abundantly available material in the world because all the plants they carry huge amount of cellulose okay but in its proper in its original form cellulose cannot be really utilized for many purposes so it needs to be modified the major problem with cellulose is it's not water soluble okay if it is not water soluble that then it got it has got severe restrictions in applications of the material so then we convert the cellulose into different forms okay for the purpose of today's discussion we will convert this cellulose to its nano form which is called the nano cellulose nano cellulose has already been prepared by various people in the past and they have been already successfully used in various applications some textile industry to food packaging to for antimicrobial applications to drug carrier, drug loading, all kinds of things in making wound dressing materials and all these things. So all that is knowledge is available to us in the literature. Other interesting thing about cellulose is cellulose is a very basic, very simple polymer. It has only three elements in its structure, the carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Now, the availability of hydroxyl groups here makes it extremely compatible for functionalization. So, we can functionalize this molecule very easily and that makes preparation of cellulose derivatives much easier. 
and that is the strategy is normally used to convert cellulose to its useful derivatives okay so if you want to use nano cellulose and my target is to use as a microbial filtration device in microbial family you can have virus you can have bacteria algae fungi and all other kinds of Uh, micro micro elements there and it has been already recognized in the literature and there's a huge amount of literature that is available on this which says that nano cellulose is highly effective in dealing with the entire family of microorganisms so here are some examples of that this is i've taken from the literature and there are entire there is several virus listed here and you see the nano cellulose is extremely effective against this this virus in removing them from the source if you want to see these type of videos then please do comment we will definitely look after that thank you